Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It is Rachel. I'm just looking down at my phone because today we're going to be doing the FabFitFun edit sale for winter 2019. So um, this sale started, I believe the day after Christmas or a couple days after Christmas. Everything's kind of running together, but I have been scouring the sale and kind of collecting my items and I'm here to present all of that today like every other um, edit sale and review that I do on this. Um, hopefully lighting's a little better. I've been messing around with it. So let me know what you guys think. Still a work in progress. Um, yeah, so just a disclaimer before we get into the goods. I try to do timestamps. I don't always get to it, but I will attempt to do timestamps. I am doing a giveaway for anyone who is interested. I will put the links above and potentially below. Um, that is going on through the 7th. Um, yeah, so this is, uh, FabFitFun does several sales throughout the year. They do uh, an add-on sale and then they do an edit sale. They recently changed up the structure of this so that they um, do the sale for the select members of people who pay for the whole year uh, one week and then everybody else can do it the other week. So the people who buy in the select, their stuff gets processed and shipped last time before everybody else's did, um, which was really nice. And then you can also go back and do the regular sale. So some people like this, some people don't. There's very mixed emotions about it. I kind of like it, but then again, I also have a select membership. I do think it's unfair for those folks who can't afford to do the select membership that they don't get that opportunity, but we'll not get in the debate here. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull up my thing here um, and we'll go through this. This is in no particular order. This is not every item in the sale. Um, I have not tried a lot of these things. I've tried a lot of the things. Some of these things are just my opinion. Um, some of these things are from me trying stuff on. Uh, but anywho, we'll just go through all of this and go from there. Oh, as I reach over into my gigantic bag of stuff here, I was running around collecting things. And I just realized I didn't collect everything I was going to collect, but that's okay. We'll be fine. Okay, so uh, what I do is I had started to write everything down and then I just thought about it. And last time I did this, I, I just put everything in my saved on my phone. That way I could reference it as I go down below. Um, yeah, so let's get into this sale and go. This is usually a very long video for those who haven't... Um, started. Okay, so the first item here, I do not have. Let me stop and come. All right, second time's a charm. I went and grabbed the things that I was missing. Okay, I'm going to edit this video anyway, so yeah. <laughs> first things first, we have Bear Republics has a couple sunscreens. Um, I know it is the middle of the winter, which is probably why it's in a sale, um, but Bear Republics does uh, different sunscreens that are mineral-based. So um, this is the face sunscreen. I have used this. Um, I'm about halfway through this one. I forget which sale or when I bought it, as you can see as I press on it here. I believe both products they have in here are, um, they're $5. So it has a very like coconutty, not overwhelming scent. You can see how it goes in. It's pretty liquidy. You have to definitely like mix it up really good. And then it goes on pretty good. So I use this a lot this summer. Um, and it is a nice mineral-based sunscreen. So for those that are not familiar with mineral-based sunscreen, these are things like zinc oxide and titanium oxide. They're supposed to be better for the environment, specifically for uh, the reefs and everything. The chemical sunscreens tend to bleach the reefs. Uh, when I'm in like a swimming pool or just hiking, I, I actually prefer chemical sunscreens. I find that they do better on me, but when I'm in the ocean, I prefer these types of sunscreens. So this is a nice brand for a chemical, or sorry, a uh, mineral sunscreen, but they have a new one that I've not seen, which I'm probably going to purchase, which is the, um, let me see which way, I got to figure out which way I'm pointing. So on this side, I'll post little pictures as we go along. They have the uh, Bear Republics. It is the Foam sunscreen, it's the Mineral SPF 30 Sunscreen Mousse. It's normally $16.99, it is $5. That one, I'm really curious how a foaming one will do. I'm wondering if I'll actually like it a little bit better. And it's a much bigger container. So the face one in the sale is 1.7 ounces. This is a size. The one um, that is the foaming one is six ounces. Granted, it's a foaming one, but you feel like it might go a little bit further. 
product I'm not a big fan of. Um, and I, you know, I've had many suggestions on how to use this. I still need to try this in like my bath and stuff, but this is the Marrakesh Pure 100% Argon Oil. This is it right here. Um, I tried using this in my hair. It was god awful. I did not like it. Um, on my skin, it does absorb nicely. I'm just not a big fan of putting oils on my body uh, outside of my face. This is a two ounce bottle. It's $5 in this sale, normally $22.99. Um, so I'm going to continue trying to make this work. I got this in one of my mystery bundles. Uh, it's probably not a product I would have picked out, but definitely if you're going to get this for anything else, but your body or your face, I would probably not do it. So just, just to, you know, make sure you're not thinking you can use it in your hair. The next item here is the Makeup Drop Original Silicone Beauty Applicator. I forget what I got this in. I got this in something. I have not used it much. I don't really care for it all that much. I think I have another one, um, but it is a silicone applicator. This one's supposed to be good for under the skin, but if you ever have an idea of what that looks like, that is what it is. Um, if people either really like these or most people really hate them. Uh, I don't think it's really even worth five bucks, but some people love it. So this is $5 in this sale, normally $12. All right. The next one, and I forgot to grab the box for you guys, are the cosmetics products. There's a cosmetics detox mask, and there's one other mask. Um, the size of the containers are about that big. Uh, I like cosmetics as a brand. I find that they're really nice. Man, I'm like looking for everything here now. Oh yeah, there it is. But I forgot to grab it to show you guys uh, any further. So this is normally $5, uh, or is $5 normally $30. Okay, let's talk about the Skin & Co. Roma uh, Blue & Creme Pre Gel uh, Body Wash. I don't have that anymore. Um, I got that way back in, it was like a summer box uh, from them. I used it all up, it was okay. Um, it was kind of drying on my skin. It wasn't that fantastic. I didn't love the smell. It was very piney, woodsy. Um, I just, it wasn't just, it just wasn't my favorite. Um, body wash, like there are better body washes, but this one's okay. It's $5, normally $22. Next item we're gonna talk about is the Spongel Freesia, let's see, is it Freesia? Yeah, Freesia Pear Body Wash Infused Buffer. Now you guys know, if you've ever watched any of my review videos, I am not a fan of Spongelly body wash uh, scrubbies. They are too drying of my skin. I love the concept. The soap itself and the scrub are just too rough on my skin and then I get really itchy and irritated and dried out. However, if you are one of the folks that likes them, this particular scent smells really, really nice. Um, and so this scent is not only in one of their body buffers, which is the sponge, but they have a lotion, um, which I am quite intrigued about because I do really like that scent of freesia and pear. All right, let's talk about Nuria. Um, Nuria has a couple products in the cell. They have a... Um, a uh, de de Fend Gentle uh, Exfoliator, and then they have a lotion, I believe. This is a bottle of the uh, Rescue Rebalancing Cleanser. I'm currently using this. I really like this brand. Um, so far, I've been very impressed with how gentle their products are on my skin. Um, and this is, uh, so the one in the sale, looks like it's a squeezy bottle, not a pump bottle like this one. It also looks like it is, let's see if it says how many ounces. It looks like it's about 5.8 if I'm looking at this picture right. So maybe just a little bit smaller than this. Uh, but it looks like it has good products in it. So the uh, exfoliator has a lactic acid, uh, ginkgo, globa, ginkgo biloba leaf extract. So these are good antioxidant properties. Um, I don't see a lot of sulfates in there, which are very harsh and drying on the skin. Um, so that is looking like a good product. So I'm definitely looking into it. It's $5, normally $18. Um, as far as the, uh, the lotion goes, I haven't looked as much into the ingredients. I'm a little bit on lotion overload. So unless I really have some experience with the lotions, I may not be hitting those as much. Next product here is the Glove Hydro demacolage on the go makeup remover this is what it looks like the one in the sale looks like it is a uh 
well, the one on the, it looks like it's a white one, and it has like a little tie thing, which mine doesn't. I got this in a box, so I don't know if this is exactly the same, but this is the gist of what it looks like. Your finger goes in there, and then it's supposed to help you remove makeup. It's okay, I like my makeup remover, uh, or my makeup erasers better, uh, but it, it's a nice uh, idea. So it's a mix of polyester and polyamide. Um, this is supposed to be $5, normally $12.99. Um, all right, next product here, and I didn't grab it. Daily Concepts, they've got these headbands. I'll post a picture up here. I have a knockoff version of it that's a big green one. Those are really nice if you're doing your makeup or getting ready, um, but you can get them pretty cheap. Uh, $5 isn't bad, but I feel like you can get them for a couple bucks at the drugstore or wherever. Um, I do like Daily Concepts. I think they're a very nice brand. I've had very, very good luck with their hair towels. They've been holding up, hold, held, holding up very well. However, uh, I don't know if this is truly worth $5. It's normally $12. Um, like the one I got, I got as a free gift when I bought a bunch of stuff at Ulta. So, I don't know. All right, we have the Vasanti Cosmetics Brighten Up uh, Ex Exfoliator. I have not personally tried this, but I have heard nothing but great things about this product. It's normally $29. In the sale, it is $5. It's 2.46 ounces. Um, looking at the products in there, it has aloe leaf juice. It has... Um, Castor seed oil, water. It does it does have alcohol pretty high up there, but other than that, it has glycerin and glycol. Decent products, decent products in there. So um, yeah, I am there. They have a full size version, and then they have like the magnetic wipes with the uh, facial one, the, like the smaller travel version. I'm probably gonna try that one because I do like the wipes, and um, that way I can try the exfoliator at the same time. Let's talk about the pop band London Hair Ties set of five. I truly don't believe these are worth the price. They're $5, normally $9. These are basically a stretchy band of elastic tied in a knot. I'm not a big fan of these. Some people love these. I really just don't find that they hold thicker or longer hair very well. Um, but needless to say, you can buy these types of stretchy band things for a couple bucks at CVS, Walgreens, whatever your drugstore is. So I just don't think that these are quite worth the price, honestly. Um, I put in here this. I don't have any uh, personal experience with, but it looked very interesting to me and I just wanted to touch base on it. It's the Intoxicating Beauty Beautini Body Rinse on the Rocks Hand and Body Wash, normally $40, uh, now $5 in the sale. Now, it looked really interesting, and the reason I am not going to get this, because I was going to, because I really love different body washes and trying them out, but I have a whole backload of them to try, is that it goes out of date in May of 2020. So just be careful, not all the items in the sale, they put some little notice on the forums that they weren't putting on every item about when they expired, but they do have it on some of them. And this is one that unfortunately expires relatively quickly. It has really great ingredients in it. It sounds really, really interesting. And maybe one day if they have in a sale and it either has a longer expiration date or I need body wash a little sooner, I'll, I'll think of it. But it has uh, aloe leaf, it has lime, it has grapefruit peel oil, so it has some nice exfoliating acids in it. Um, it has, uh, I think this whole line has some sort of alcohol in it. So if you have issues with alcohol, that may be the only thing. But it looks very interesting. It looks like a little like martini, like, or not martini, like a little alcohol bottle. So I think it's cute. Um, okay, let's talk about the Lavado Thermo Intensive Foot Cream, and I think they have another, like an exfoliating face mask cream in here. This is what the Lavado pack packaging looks like. This is obviously not the products in the sale. This is a body lotion. Um, so this is what we got in this, uh, I think this was in, I got this in an edit sale box. I really like their products. This smells amazing. This smells like mandarin orange and bergamot. But uh, I am very impressed with their products in general. So this right here is 4.05 ounces. So this is the size of the intensive foot cream. And I believe this is the size of the other one. Um, I'll put a picture up of it, the other one as well. But this is, the foot cream is $5. 
um, and it's normally $28 just by the quality of their body lotion. I have high hopes for the foot cream. Um, just a little bit about this brand. It is made in Israel. It is vegan. Um, I think that's about it now. And they just use really nice product. I, I'm super impressed. This is like one of those brands that I found through FabFitFun. So the, the foot cream looks like it has avocado oil, jojoba oil, sweet almond oil, so that should make it smell really nice. Tea tree oil, which is always good for antifungal properties. Spearmint leaf oil, um, which would probably give you a nice tingly sensation. And grapefruit peel oil, so you've got a little bit of acid for exfoliating properties. So they've got some really nice stuff in that one there. Okay, let's talk about the Invoke Hair. Um, Drying towels, there's a set of two of them, they're $7. Basically, these are just microfiber uh, towels. Uh, what is microfiber? As I pull out my crappy little towel for my dislike videos, I'll post that up above if you guys haven't seen that video. This is basically microfiber. This is just a really low profile type of uh, cloth that helps dry you out quickly, absorbs, uh, ex uh, absorbs a lot of water for a very small surface area. Um, these look like just a small towel. I think if you have really short hair, they might work well. I'm a little leery to try them just because I find that um, small towels don't wrap in my hair very well. And I like a, more of a turban style towel if I'm gonna use one. Um, let's talk this. This is the Miss Congeniality Rose Water Hydra Mist um, Spray. I'm currently using this. I got mine in a cause box. There we go, there it's highlighting or focusing for you. Uh, I am getting close to being done. I think this is an excellent spray. I really enjoy this. It's very gentle. Um, they're all about uh, naturally derived and organic products. They are cruelty free. Um, this has rose water in it, aloe leaf, witch hazel, just very gentle on your skin. I like to use it after I wash my face to hydrate up and then uh, I put on all my serums and stuff. I probably won't repurchase this in the sale because I've got a bunch of other face waters I want to try out, but if I get low, this will definitely be on the top of my list of products that I would be retrying out again. Um, so if you're looking for a face water, that is really, really good. Um, let's talk about the Tech Candy uh, to have and to hold. When I first thought, I looked at this, I thought this was just like a mini little wallet. Um, it is not. If you look at it, the pictures a little bit closer, it is something that sticks to the back of your phone. Um, I'm not a big fan of that. I find that this is probably overpriced for what it is. I feel like you could get something like this for much cheaper on Amazon, uh, but it's $7 normally, $12.99. It is polyester uh, elastase and PU leather, i.e. fake leather. <laughs> it's plastic. So um, just, just so you know. Um, I didn't grab those, so we will not be talking about the Rachel Paley clutch uh, or that. Um, let's talk about the Beauty Crop product in here. There's two of them. There's a highlighter. Um, I'm a little confused because it says highlighter duo, but if you look at the actual picture, the packaging says bronzer highlighter duo. I think it is just a highlighter based on the pictures of the actual swatches, but that's a little bit confusing. So we have the Beauty Crop Dawn Gazing Eyeshadow Palette. It has 12 shades. I have had really good luck with Beauty Crop products before, and I put in a little single Beauty Crop eyeshadow to show you guys kind of um, the quality of the products here. And I was trying to see if any of, yeah. So this is one of the shades out of, out of the, the, um, out of the, the palette. This is the shade Serene, which is, if you look at the picture, I'll put the picture up there. It is the second row, the one, um, all the way over, I guess when I put the picture up closest to my head. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. And then if you guys can see here, very pretty. This is like a shimmery cranberry shade. Uh, I'm trying to see if the colors will show a little bit better. It's not showing as well on here how the color translates, but it's a very pretty cranberry color. Their pigments are very buttery or their shadows are very buttery. They blend well. Um, because of that, I probably will get this palette but I wanted to show you guys that um, just if you're debating on that, I think it's excellent for the price. Okay, next product here is the, uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I've had this for a couple, for like a year now and I just don't use it. I'll probably keep it around just for decorative purposes. 
Maybe I'll re-gift it. Um, it's really cute. This is the Alfred Coffee Stainless Steel Teapot Ceramic and Stain. It's adorable. I just don't use it because it's one you can't put on the stove. It's one that you have to pour hot water in and then it has a little loose leaf tree tea strainer. I think if you're a hardcore tea fanatic, this is adorable and, and or if you like to serve tea. I really do like it. I think it's beautiful and that's why I may keep it around just for that rare occasion where I do do tea, but the reality is I'm too lazy and I have not used it because I just don't serve tea that way. So, um, yeah, if you're looking for that, that's really, really nice. Um, let's talk about the Ahabo Mineral Mud. I like this stuff. I like all the Ahava products in the sale. Um, there's quite a few. There's so many bundles in there that are really good. They have the uh, the hand cream, the foot cream, um, and I think it's the dead or it's the water, the the hydrating mask, which I'll show you in a second. They have the mineral mud, which is this. This is what the packaging looks like here, and it's it's interesting because you don't expect it to be green but it's green and it smells like freaking candy. It smells so good, I love this. Um, I'm gonna have to use this more actually, uh, cause yeah, it's just really nice. In fact, I'm gonna put this aside and start using this more to get back with you guys more. But this is really, really nice and um, I really just love a lot of their products. I'm using one of their face creams right now and it is life-changing on my skin. The mineral mud is $9 uh, in the sale, normally $32. I don't have the price of this. This is the hydration cream mask that we got in a previous box. This is fantastic. I've gone through about half of it. I like to use this as a leave-on overnight mask, but this is very hydrating, um, non-pore clogging, and they changed up the packaging, I think, because this one's blue, but the one in the sale looks like it's brown. All right, guys, they have a couple wish, uh, Wish Beauty products and bundles. I got this in a mystery bundle? Mystery bundle. <laughs> and this is roughly the size of what they look like, I believe. At least the blue set, which I forget what the scent is on them. Um, but this is what they look like. Uh, obviously this set is a toasted vanilla, so this isn't the scent that's in the sale. Um, I believe though that the shave gel or shave cream, which is this, may be the toasted vanilla. Um, anyway, people swear by this. I haven't had a chance to try it out, but it comes in a nice little package. They have a lavender one, and then I forget, like I said, what the blue, blue scent one is, but they have that in the sale. So, okay. Let's talk about the Smith & Colt uh, nail bundle of Little Lovely and Loveless Loss. It looks really pretty. I debate about this. Um, I probably won't get it because the packaging is really bulky. This is $11, normally $36. This is what the Smith & Colt packaging looks like. And it's extremely bulky. So when you go to actually use it, you have to pull this big old bulky cap off to be able to use it, which is really irritating. Um, the brush is, uh, okay, it's a little bit thick like that. I'm not a big fan of the thicker brushes. The nail polish itself is really nice. I actually have this particular nail polish on my toenails right now, and it is wearing and tearing really nicely. Um, so the quality of their nail polish is really nice. The nail polish in the sale looks really pretty. The glitter one is like calling my name completely. Um, but yeah, so that that's that. If you don't mind the packaging, uh, oh, hey, the Wish Beauty, it's the Blue Agave Essential Oil Set. It looks like essentially, essentially like this, so just FYI. All right, let's talk about the Tarte's Light Camera and Lashes. It's normally $23. In the sale, it's $11. It's an okay mascara. I, it's not my favorite Tarte mascara. Um, it's, it's all right. Some people swear by it. I don't love it, so, uh, you know, it is what it is. I can't really recommend it highly one way or another. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great. These are the Phil Beauty uh, Brilliant Bamboo Charcoal Face Sheet Mask. I have yet to try these, but I got just recently, I don't know where my fourth one went, I was gonna try it, four of these um, in a box. And, um, or maybe I got three. I was gonna try them on and, and let you guys know what I thought uh, before this video. Uh, and then I saw that you have to leave it on for 30 minutes. <laughs> so if you don't like masks to take 30 minutes, these might not be your masks. Uh, they're supposed to be a detoxifier and pore minimizer. They've got uh, uh, aloe leaf, 
uh, juice, a hyaluronate, glycol, castor oil, they have royal jelly. So, i.e., if you guys want cruelty free, this is uh, or vegan, this is not going to be that because royal jelly is taken from honeybees. Um, and jojoba oil, uh, cinnamon, casa bark extract. So they have some good stuff in here, but just just be warned if you're uh, if you care about vegan or cruelty free. Okay, um, let's talk about the Amica polished uh, mini straightening brush. This looks so cute. I have been wanting to try a straightening brush for a while. It's only eleven dollars, normally thirty four dollars, thirty five dollars. I looked it up on Sephora. Unfortunately, the reviews of this are not the greatest. Um, it it uh, is on sale, I think, on Sephora for like twenty some odd dollars right now. And basically, a lot of people are saying it doesn't work like the bigger uh, straightening brushes that it, unless you have really short, thin hair, it just doesn't seem to do the job. So I'm probably going to forego this just because I don't think it's going to work that well for my hair. Um, also, it says if you have really kinky or curly hair, it's also not going to work that well, a lot of people have been saying. So um, just if you're looking at that, just keep those in mind with your hair type. Uh, now let's talk about the Aki Rapid Dry Towel in Desert Rose. I love the Aki turbans. The towels are like a, like, basically a long thing where you wrap it in the back, but it doesn't have the little button, um, to go over. I am not a fan of that style just because I find it harder for me to wrap and keep them on my head, but I know a lot of people like them. The Aki brand is awesome. It's good quality, and this is a great price for them. Uh, so definitely if you're interested, that is something to, uh, get. Uh, I forgot to grab this as well. I keep forgetting to grab some of these items. The Feel Beauty Purity Pure Anywhere Balm Trio. I have the Pure Balm in Rose A, and then there's another color like Coral, and what's this other color here? Original. So I have the Rose, which is a very, very slight hint of pink. This is a very thin balm. It's not like your heavy, thick balm. It's like a very light sheen. It's almost like just a regular lip gloss. It's not bad. It's not my favorite um, balm in the world. It, uh, I like other ones better, but it's not horrible. So it is what it is. All right, let's talk about the Skin Owl Gold. Come on up here. Come on. Gold, ro gold Roller Wand. So uh, this is my knockoff brand, and I, these are all a knockoff of the Nurse Jamie uh, roller wand that you can see at Sephora that's like some ungodly expensive price, like a hundred and some odd dollars. And I feel like the Kardashians are the ones that made it famous. This is what they look like. Obviously the one in the sale is gold and it comes with a velvet bag, but the idea is it's supposed to help with your circulation. It feels really, really good. Um, I don't think there's anything super magical about these things except for they help massage your skin and help with puffiness. Um, let me see if they're trying to say this gold does anything. I don't think so. I think it's just, if they try to claim that the gold does anything, that's just a myth. But these are, these are nice. They feel good. Um, if you want to try it out, it's an inexpensive way to try out one of these little wands like this. I was excited to get this in one of my boxes because I wanted to try out one of these, but I haven't wanted to pay the money. So, um, yeah, those, that's, that is, that's that. All right, they have the NCLA Peppermint Lip Balm and Cuticle Oil. I've never tried any um, NCLA balm, so I'm curious about that. I was going to pull out the oil for you guys. This is the current oil that I'm using. Um, it lasts a long time. I like to use it, uh, you know, when my nails start getting dry, especially after I... I uh, change out my nail polish and stuff. But this one smells really good. This is So Rich Mermaid Tears. Um, you can also use this other places. This is just a nice uh, oil. It has like sunflower oil and uh, a couple other oils in it. So it's a decent oil. But yeah, I'm really interested in this. This is normally $14 or $34 and in here it is $14 and it's peppermint, which kind of sounds really awesome. So I am debating on that even though I don't really need more cuticle oil. Okay, next product here is the Mark and Graham uh, Color Block Throw. Now I have the gray and cream one, which I really like. This is mine um, and it's a nice throw. I I actually have two. I bought another one in a previous sale because I liked my first one so much. I love these in 
the summertime when it's a little less, um, it will, when it's warm and I don't want something quite so heavy, especially where I live, it, it gets really, really, really warm, but it's nice to have just a little light covering. Um, obviously my um, favorite one blanket right now is is the one we just got in our box this, this uh, last season, but this is a nice blanket. Uh, the one in the sale is a cream one, uh, which looks really pretty, but I opted for the gray because that's kind of what we have in our house. So I would recommend it. I like these blankets and for $14, I don't think it's a bad price. All right, let's talk about the Tima towels. Uh, these are, I don't have them, uh, and I don't have an example to really show you guys. Well, I guess it, they're Turkish towels. This is a pretty close uh, approximation of what a Turkish towel looks like. Uh, obviously, I don't think this is truly a Turkish towel, but this is the same idea. It's a very thin material that will eventually soften out when you wash it and use it. However, um, you can use these as throws, blankets, towels. Uh, just be aware of that. If you're buying this and thinking you're getting like a full-on beach towel, it's a little bit different than that. Um, let's talk about the Beauty Bakery. Uh, palette here. Um, it is $19, normally $38. I have not tried a lot of beauty bakery products. I've heard hit or miss things about them. Um, but the reviews on this one from Ulta looked pretty decent. And so uh, I am curious on how this one is. It's definitely a cool toned, uh, more neutrally looking palette. It's very, very pretty. Uh, so it's definitely on my list of things to check out. All right, guys, this is the Bandu Work It out gym bag and so this is my bandu what's stuck on here oh yeah my glove from here this is mine um this is this is just a regular bag that they had but i love this bag and they have the gym bag which is like a floral doesn't have the the little ruffle details but i have been very impressed with the quality of this bag so i do think that this bag is probably worth the 19 dollars in the sale normally 35 dollars so uh just fyi okay so we have the unhide Faux fur, faux fur bags. Um, the Unhide brand I have been very impressed with from our blanket that we got in our last sale. I'm not sure I would get the fur bag. It's not my style, but it, is, it seems very retro-y. So if you like that, I think the quality is probably there. They also have a pillow that looks really pretty. Again, it's not really going with my decor, but if it did, I would really like it. So. Um, I did not grab it to show you guys, and I don't know where I put it, which is killing me now. I'm going to have to find it, which is the Paper Source 12-month um, Rose Floral Planner. This one's $19 in the sale, normally $27.95. I really got to find it because New Year starts in the next day. Uh, but I will post a link up of the video where I unbox the box with it so you guys can take a look if you want to see. But it is, it's a nice, nice, um, nice one here. Okay. Moving on along here, uh, just a commentary on a few items here. Uh, so the Lulu Dharma. Oh, why won't you open? Carpet bags. These are so cute. I don't need more bags, but they look freaking adorable. Um, I don't know if the quality is there, but if I needed a bag, I would totally be looking into these. Uh, so those are adorable. They're $29, normally $88. We have the Show Me Your Moo Moo Standard Brie Robe. The other uh, robe, again, I'll show it in my favorites video uh, by that brand. I absolutely love that robe. It is high quality, works really well. Been very happy with it. I don't think I have it in here today. I couldn't find where I put it. Um, but when I find it, anyway, I'll, I'll put it up the video of me wearing it or having it. I, if you want a robe, and you like how this one looks, the, the brand is a good quality. So, all right, let's talk about the, I have to talk about this because this is just weird. The Kegel Bell Pelvic Floor Training System. More of a commentary of what it is and why it's in there. Um, for those of you that don't know, uh, pelvic floor exercises are for those women who get urinary incontinence or issues after, mostly after having babies, because as you have children, um, your pelvic floor begins to weaken um, because things get stretched out when you have a baby. Some people have urinary incontinence or issues with bladder leakage after they have children. Some women do not. Um, 
One of the ways you can prevent that is with an exercise called a Kegel, which basically if you've ever been peeing midstream and you have to stop suddenly, like your kid is calling down the way and you're like, shit, I need to go run to my kid. Um, and you stop peeing real quick. That is a Kegel basically. It's that clenching up your inner, inner inside there. Uh, and that includes in your vaginal area. So this system here is supposed to work on um, basically putting things up there and having you squeeze with different weights and everything. I feel like if you just practice squeezing while you pee, it's a cheaper way than this. This is $84, normally $129. 99. It is FDA registered and it is probably better than putting jade eggs in your hoo ha, but yeah. Uh, but anyway, if you guys are interested, that's what that's all about. Um, so yeah. <laughs> um, okay, let's talk about the bear paw headband and gloves. I cannot find my headband because my daughter stole it. She loves that thing. Um, I really like the headband. It's really, really cute. These are what the gloves look like. I actually throw these in my bag because they're kind of cute. Uh, it doesn't get that cold here, so I really have to have gloves. But, um, ooh, what is going on here? Oh, there it is. This is what they look like. So they have the, uh, the fingers cut out, and then you have this little stretchy band thing, which isn't the most pretty how they have it there. And then you can put it over there, and basically, like if you're not using it, you can uh, button it down here. My, my big complaint about this basically is that little uh, band thing looks kind of gross when it's up and out. I don't know why it looks that way on mine. Oh, see, the one on this side doesn't. It must have turned around on mine. Yep, mine is defective or turned around. I'm sure uh, the other one doesn't look like that. But anywho, these are not bad. Uh, I've been using them, they've been good, they wear and tear okay. Um, the set is really cute and it is $5. I think it's a good price for $5. Normally, let's see, normally $45. Okay, so we have the Dr. Brandt's Skin No More uh, No Baggage Needles thingy. I have like, I've gotten eight, so many of these. Um, this is what it looks like. I actually have another one that I'm currently using. I kind of fall in and out of love of this product. Yeah, this is my one I'm almost done with. And then I have that one and I gave one away because I had so many of these. I got like so many in my boxes. But just to show you guys what the product looks like, it has, it's kind of thick and goopy. It looks like that pink kind of salmon tone and then you rub it in there. A little goes a long way. What I found works really well with this is you put a little bit on your finger, you tap it up like this, and then you slowly press it into the skin. Don't put a lot in there, don't rub it, but just press it into the skin. Let it sit for a little bit and then you can go and do your other application over it. It's not bad, it's not a bad product and if you're wanting to try it, $5 is not bad in the sale. Um, so yeah, it's not, not bad at all. Like I, I do actually enjoy this product. Uh, yep, okay, so next one here is the Human Kind Grapefruit body wash. I don't have this. I want to get it, but everybody in the dog wants it. It's $5, normally $10.50. This is the size of the packaging. This is actually, it's 8.45 fluid ounces. So actually that packaging may be bigger. This one's 6.7 fluid ounces. And you can see how whopping big this package is. Um, yeah, so I'm excited. Uh, hopefully someone will drop it and I'll get to try it. But it has grapefruit extract and citric acid and a bunch of other good stuff in there for exfoliating um, and I'm curious so yeah okay next is a rock your hair products they have a hair plump volume texture and I believe they have a hairspray just to give you guys an idea a little bit on the packaging I got the thermocoles uh, curl spray. Uh, it smells really nice. I haven't gotten to dry it too much. My hair is not quite long enough, but they have these little uh, diamond applique on there, which is kind of cool. It looks like they have it on all their packaging. Um, this is 10 fluid ounces, just to give you an idea. The texturizing spray is 7.2 ounces, uh, and this is $5, normally $22. Okay, let's move on. Um, let me see, the, oh, I said that the uh, uh, Wish shave cream was probably in toasted vanilla, it's actually in grapefruit. Okay, so the other product, yeah, it was the Rock Your Hair spray, it's also $5. Okay, let's talk about Coco Floss. I'm pretty sure I talk about this every single freaking sale. They have the strawberry one in here. 
Um, I have, this is the uh, coconut one, which is okay. And then I have the other one, which is the mint one, which is my favorite. I love cocoa floss. This is $5, normally $9. It is the best, most expensive floss you could ever buy. Like I'd stock up on this every couple of sales. All right, let's talk about the RM Company products. They have a couple in here. They have the Death Valley uh, uh, dry shampoo. They have, oh, I think they have like a, a foam conditioner. I believe they also have uh, like a one prep spray. Um, this is a soft wave spray I got in the previous sale. I'm probably not going to get any more of their products this time because I'm kind of on overload of hair products right now. But general idea of what their packaging looks like. Um, and I think a couple of the products in here are about this size. So uh, I do really like their products. Everything I've tried so far from them, I've really, really enjoyed. And I really think are nice products. Um, all right, let's talk about the Timeless Skin. Uh, this vitamin C and E ferulic acid serum. If you're looking for a good vitamin C and E acid serum, this one should check all the boxes um, from what I can tell from the formulation. Uh, it does say it's not recommended for oily skin. Um, it does have L-ascorbic acid. It does have hyaluronate in it. And then of course it has the vitamin E in there, which is how you want to have them. Um, and it sounds like, and when I was looking this up, it's a fairly good, it's a 20% vitamin C concentration. So it's a pretty high concentration of vitamin C. If you guys want to know more about vitamin C products and everything, I did do a whole video on that. I'll post that up above, which kind of goes into the whole logistics of vitamin C and like um, when you should use it, like how it works, blah, 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 blah. All right, I forgot to grab this, but I have been using this brand. This is the Unite. Uh, I have the Detangler Spray, but they have the Boost of Volumizing Spray and the Texturizing Spray. The bottle is roughly this big. Um, they have a really nice clean salon spray uh, smell. In fact, I got mine at a salon. Um, so the price is really good. It's $7 here, normally $27.50. I've been very impressed with the quality of the spray. It's a good brand. If you need a volumizing or a texturizing spray, I would definitely uh, recommend that brand. Um, okay, let's talk about the Tarte Tardiest Pro To Go palette. This is it. Um, and I've taken this on a couple trips. It's not my favorite palette. It's good for a little travel palette. If you've never tried Tarte products before, then this isn't a bad palette to try. It is pretty good for a Tarte palette. Um, they're very pigmented and the colors are very pretty. I just find that I can only get a couple looks out of this. It's got kind of a pinky range and an orangey range, and I don't feel like the two intermix very well. It does have a nice mirror, and it is a perfect travel size. So, and I really do like the Amazonian clay formula. So if you like uh, Tarte products or you need a little travel palette, this one isn't bad. Like I said, it, the, the colors are pretty. I just don't find it as quite as versatile as some of my other travel palettes. All right, Karen G Skincare. I have been using the retinol cream, which is not bad. This is the revitalizing eye cream. This is the size of the retinol cream, which is obviously going to be bigger than the eye cream. Um, actually, yeah, so this is a one fluid ounce. The eye cream is half a fluid ounce, so it'd be about half the size. They have very interesting packaging, so you can see it twists up like this. And then this is, uh, from that's what the retinol cream looks like now. I don't know what the eye cream's gonna look like, but I enjoy the retinol cream. It's pretty gentle. I feel like she does a good job in formulating her uh, products and everything. So I would recommend her a brand. It's $11, uh, normally $70. Let me see if they have anything. Good. Now this is only good for six months and it does have great free peel oil and uh, shea butter. Yeah, it has some pretty good stuff in there. So it looks pretty decent. Okay, let's talk about the Luxie three piece uh, rose gold set. It has a type tapered highlight brush, a top kabuki brush and precision face brush. I don't have the exact brushes, uh, but I have similar ones. This is the tapered highlight brush, which I do not use as a highlight brush because it's a little too fat in my opinion for a highlight brush. I like it as a blush brush. Um, this is the Precision Pro Precision Face Brush. 
Um, I don't know if this is exactly like the one here. I think it is. This is the one, as you can see here. Ah, uh, if you use foundation, I think it's very good for that. I don't use foundation often. So for me, I haven't really used this brush much. And then I don't have the Kabuki brush, but this is probably as close as I could find to it, which is the Round Top Blender. Um, and this is also a good brush if you need like a more stiff like brush like that. I'm not as big of a fan of this brush. I love this brush. I don't use these two as much. But that being said, in there, if you need a face brush set, I do recommend Lexi over some of the other brands that they have in the sale. Um, they have the uh, crown cell set in here, um, which these are the crown brushes from that. We got these back in the day in one of our boxes, and this is what they look like. These are just two of the many in there. They're just not as stiff, they're a little bit softer. Now for like applying powder or bronzer, I do actually really like this brush because I want a brush that disperses things a little bit lighter like that. This is one, an angled brush in the set that I don't use as much, but you could use for blush or contouring, but they just don't, in comparison, they just don't feel as heavy or as nice. They feel a little bit cheaper. Um, so just, that's something to keep in mind. Um, when you're you know going through those uh i feel like i'm missing some stuff here let's talk about the nelson j uh beverly um hair moisture mask this is a good mask i think i've talked about this in many 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 things this is what mine looks like this is a 3.4 ounce is this 3.4 this is the 3.4 ounce size for so whatever reason in this sale they show a little picture of a baggie i don't know if it's the baggie or it's going to come this way they you know, I got this in the sale and it looked like this, but it may come in that pouch. Um, that's just something to be mindful of. The other thing that is in the sale here is the uh, Tardis lip paint. Um, this is my OG color, which looks awful on me. And then I have uh, another one here, which I don't know where it went, which is Avi. But this formula is really good. Namaste looks like it is a real beige color um, when you actually Google out what it looks like. So if you're looking for a good lip paint, I do like the Tardis formula. I just don't always like the colors that they have in this sale. Let me see if there is anything else that I'm missing here. I'm gonna pause and come back. All right guys, I uh, went through the list. I don't really see anything else big that I wanna talk about in the sale. This video is gonna be pretty long by the, oh, when all is said and done, but I hope this is helpful. Um, there are a few other products that I have tried in uh, the past, uh, such as the corduroy beanbag chair. I'll post that link up above if you guys wanna see me take it out. I do like that. Um, but yeah, that's about the gist of it. Um, obviously not inclusive of everything, uh, but you know, generally my thoughts and feelings on it. Um, I've got a couple of things that I'm going to buy out of this sale and I will show you guys when that comes through, um, but uh, you know, I don't always talk about the things I'm gonna buy so that I can kinda surprise you when I get them. So anywho guys, that is it. I hope you guys have a fantastic New Year's. Uh, if I didn't say this earlier, Happy New Year's. This is uh, New Year's Eve when I'm posting this. Um, I believe, hopefully, I'm taping this the day before New Year's Eve and I'm gonna edit this up New Year's Eve and put this up, but uh, I will be back on Thursday, which is, I think the second. Um, I don't know what video I will be posting up, but it will either be a review of some of the products or if my hopefully cause box comes in, we'll be going over our cause box. So uh, going from there. Now I am going to do uh, next week a beauty ingredient review, and I am thinking it will be hyaluronic acid but if you guys have one that you're more interested in hyaluronic acid, let me know. There are so many topics and so many things. I know a lot of people want to go over dark spots and everything. I got to do a lot more research on that. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any opinions or suggestions on that, let me know. All right, guys. Thanks as always. And I will see you later. Bye.